They're under starter's orders and they're off. And Young Hustler is one of the first to show. Also showing pace is Ebony Jane through on the inside is Camelot Knight. Master Oates is uh, racing very wide as they go down to the first. And also very wide is Crystal Spirit and Superior finishes up with a pace. And uh, Topsham Bay and Gold Cap not that far away. Neither is Mini Homer. They spread right across the track and they come down towards the first. And on the inside it's Camelot Knight that probably just has the edge. Camelot Knight at the first. Uh, Duba Silla is one of the back markers as uh, she normally is. And uh, there were one or two fallers at the furthest, and Jumbo was a faller. And they come down towards the second, and on the outside, it's uh, going to be one of the leaders on the inside, Camelot Knight, and also Young Hustler. These two share the pace, and behind these, Crystal Spirit is out wide, then Superior Fonish, and then comes Topsham Bay, and they come to the third. And over the third, and Young Hustler has unseated his rider there. Young Hustler unseated with uh, right up there superior finish also prominent is Topsham Bay with Riverside Boy as they take the next the fourth Garrison Savannah out wide Royal Athlete towards the inside as they head down towards the fifth and up front is Topsham Bay from superior finish Crystal Spirit right up with the pace on the wide outside then is a uh, doobie brief as they take the one before Beaches uh, back in behind those Dakins Boy mistake mistake by Phil William there and now they run down to Beaches Brook coming towards it then and it's superior finish and Riverside Boy with Royal Athlete towards the inside, Topsham Bay is next, and then out wide is uh, Doobie Brief as they go over Beaches Brook, taking it now. Superior finish, landing just first. Royal Athlete the inside, Riverside Boy and Topsham Bay and Crystal Spirits not far behind. And now they run to the one after Beaches Brook, a few loose horses around. Riverside Boy on the inside of Superior finish. They're followed by Royal Athlete, Doobie Brief, Topsham Bay, Crystal Spirit uh, looking for Master Oates. He's towards the wide outside in midfield at this stage with uh, a good 20 horse is in front of him but being patiently ridden and has got a clear view of the fences here's the canal turn Riverside Boy on the inside of Superior Finish they're chased then by Topsham Bay party politics towards the rear at the moment they head now to Valentine's Brook through Superior Finish Riverside Boy Topsham Bay running well then Ebony Jane the inside Royal Athlete Garrison Savannah chased then by Chatham Master Oates getting closer on the wide outside with Crystal Spirit and Doobie Brief heading down to the next then it's number 10 and Riverside Boy took it just but down is no superior finish has unseated the rider there Dakin's boy has gone back in the field chasing the leaders into the red and Master Oates right up with the pace now Norman Williamson on the wide outside black and yellow jacket as Doobie Brief led them over the next from Riverside Boy then Ebony Jane chased them by Topsham Bay Master Oates on the wide outside right up with the leaders and uh, they continue the faller of the first uh, was country member Bishops Hall and Jumbo all went at the first and uh, the, it looks as if uh, into the red Chatham has gone as well probably and uh, also Escher Ness is a faller but it's still Doobie Brief who leads Doobie Brief from Crystal Spirit Riverside Boy on the inside Master Oates has taken the very wide route and uh, he's certainly not more than five lengths off the pace Ebony Jane the inside and also not that far off the pace is uh, Garrison Savannah so they start the run down towards the next one fence number 13 and on the inside it's Doobie Brief the orange colours leading from Crystal Spirit and then Topsham Bay and Riverside Boy and then comes Ebony Jane Master Oates is wide of these Nuaf makes a stride or two then comes Royal Athlete and they uh, Barty Politics behind that then comes for William come down towards the 13th then and it's Doobie Brief who leads Doobie Brief who comes to take it uh, takes it well from Crystal Spirit in second place come down towards the 14th and it's Doobie Brief in the lead from Crystal Spirit and Topsham Bay and Royal athlete and Camelot Knight still there at this stage Mini Homer is tailed off and going nowhere he's almost a fence behind they've taken a uh, fence number 14 the next one they take is the chair and it's Doobie Brief who leads by two or three lengths to Crystal Spirit and Camelot Knight and Topsham Bay Master Oates running very wide indeed as he comes down towards the fence on the inside is Garrison Savannah and this is the chair and Doobie Brief led at it and Master Oates is over safely and so the order as they pass us with the circuit to go and come down to the water it's Doobie Brief leading. Doobie Brief from Crystal Spirit and Camelot Knight. And then behind these comes Garrison Savannah and into the red and Royal Athlete. Then comes Topsham Bay and Master Oates and over the deal. Ebony J in the inside and then comes Romany King. These are followed by Party Politics and Cool Ground, Riverside Boy, Noaf. Then the only grey Desert Lord followed uh, through by Dubasilla, who's got a lot of running to do to get competitive. Uh, but in front of Four William and the two that are tailed off and um, well tailed off are Gold Cap and Mini Homer, last year's winner. Race down then towards fence number 17 and as they 
they go down to it. One or two loose horses. The loose horse is running very wide, and that's the route that Master Oates is taking. But through on the inside, it's uh, still Doobie Brief who shares it with the uh, Royal Athlete and Crystal Spirit and Camelot Knight. And uh, still out very wide indeed is Master Oates, running his own race and out of trouble. Then he's over the 17th, race down towards the 18th and past the halfway stage in the Martel Grand National. And on the inside, it's uh, Doobie Brief who still has it, but Master Oates is certainly with the pace, and so too is Topsham Bay. And down towards the big ditch again now, Royal Athlete on the near side, Topsham Bay. Norman Williamson going via Manchester on Master Oates as they climb the open ditch, but he's in front there, Master Oates, the Gold Cup hero. Royal Athlete on the near side, followed by Crystal Spirit and Topsham Bay, and Doobie Brief has been up there all the way as they head towards the next, and Master Oates didn't jump that quite so fluently there. It looked like Doobie Brief was the fooler as they head down towards the one before Beaches, Master Oates wide of Royal Athlete, then Topsham Bay. Getting into it now is, uh, amazingly, is over the deal right up with the pace. They're chased by into the red. Camelot Knight looked to be a faller there. Desert Lord is also down at that one. dubasilla has got a lot to do. And now they head down towards Beaches Brook once again. And it's Royal Athlete on the inside. Out wide in a noseband is Master Oates. Topsham Bay, the loose horse could be a problem. Over Beaches Brook, Master Oates landed just first from Royal Athlete. Topsham Bay was down on his nose there. They now head towards the one after Beaches, the Foynay fence and Royal Athlete the inside of Master Oates over the deal is next then Garrison Savannah the inside they're followed next by Romney King into the red and crystal spirit trying to make ground from the back is party politics Topsham Bay is weakened cool ground is still in the race so is Dubasilla and here's the canal turn coming up ground can be saved here Royal Athlete challenged by Master Oates who jumped it well in third then is over the deal running an absolute blinder they head towards Valentine's Brook and Master Oates out wide once again from Royal Athlete over Valentine's. They take it together. Third was over the deal. Garrison Savannah. Romney King is getting closer. So is into the red. They head down towards the next. And this is the 26th coming up of the 30. Master Oates booted into it under Norman Williamson. Over first just from Royal Athlete. Then a gap of five lengths to Garrison Savannah. Romney King is next. They now head towards the final open ditch. And Master Oates is absolutely cantering under Storming Norman. On the outside of Royal Athlete, though, was out jumped there by Royal Athlete. Mistake. Garrison Savannah, the past winner party politics about seventh or eighth at this stage. They run down towards three out. It's Royal Athlete from Master Oates, chased them by Romney King into the red and over the deal. And Mini Homer has been pulled up, and Desert Lord was a faller, and Camelot Knight was a faller, but Royal Athlete and the top player, Master Oates, in the black and yellow. Romany King's been placed in the race before and getting closer. Stormy Norman looks around to see where the challenges are. Party policy is, start is starting to make ground over the deal, the outside of Into the Red. Garrison Savannah and Cool Ground, but they've got this very long run down towards the second last in this, the Martel Grand National. Royal Athlete, the inside of Master Oates, and then Romany King and Party Politics, the giant striding forward under Mark wire and then comes over the deal and Master Oates is being ridden now as they head for home. Come down towards the second last and the red cap on the right that's Royal Athlete and then on the big horse on the outside party politics between the pair is Romany King has been placed in the race before. This is two out. Royal Athlete leapt it well from Romany King and Master Oates and party politics is running out of steam and so too into the red and they come down towards the uh, final fence now. Dubasilla is starting to pick up from the back. This is the final fence and it's Royal Athlete in the lead. Went through the top of it Master Oates is tired, Romany King, and uh, then on the outside, Party Politics, and into the red, who's staying on, and then Dubasilla, but they come down towards the elbow, and it's Royal Athlete and Jason Titley on his first ride in the National, as he hits, comes to the elbow, he's five, six lengths clear, and Jenny Pippman's Royal Athlete clear by six lengths under Jason Titley, from in second place, Party Politics, and then Romany King, and Dubasilla putting in a best work forward now, but it's going to be Royal Athlete's National, the Martel Grand National goes to Royal Athlete at the post, Royal athlete it is for Jason Titley party politics is second a big run from over the deal who shares a four-way float over third place with into the red Romany King and Dubasilla then came the brave master Oates and Riverside boy